Boom 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 gather round miss martha's got a story can't wait to hear where it all might take us this time everyone knows that treasure lies inside these pages we want to be hanging out with story everybody wants to be there when miss martha reads Support comes from Norfolk Collegiate, providing a foundation for students pre-K to fifth grade, where innovative, student-driven, farm-to-table initiatives, engaging experiences, and daily in-person instruction are just the beginning. More at norfolkcollegiate.org. Hello, friends! Welcome to Miss Martha Reed's Storytime. I am so happy that you have decided to join me for another outstanding Standing winning story. The title of today's awesome story is Daisy the Dolphin and the Adventure in the Elizabeth River. This story was written by Moriah Scranz, a fifth grader from W.H. Taylor Elementary School in Norfolk, Virginia. Let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, so that we can find out about Daisy's adventure. Daisy the dolphin and her family went for a swim when they saw a boat and a net, followed by scared fish swimming away. What is happening? Daisy said. Oh no, it's a fishing net. Swim fast, Daisy's mom shouted. Daisy's family swam quickly away from danger. Daisy was a faster swimmer than her parents. Right before her parents escaped, they got caught in the fishing net. Mom! Dad! Daisy cried. But it was too late. Daisy's parents were gone. Daisy swam to the nearest ocean animal to get help. She encountered a one clawed crab. Do you know where my parents are? Daisy asked. Sorry, buddy. No idea, replied the crab. Daisy sighed. What happened to your claw anyway? It got caught in a boat propeller, the crab said. Oh no, I'm sorry, Daisy exclaimed. Nothing you can do about it. Sorry, I can't help you, the crab replied. Daisy turned her fins and continued searching for someone to help her. Next, Daisy saw an osprey with something stuck on its neck. Do you know where my parents are? Sorry, nope, the bird squawked. Daisy sighed again. What is that around your neck? Daisy asked. I think it's one of those rings from those pesky human bottle drinks. They have no idea how much their trash affects us, the bird lectured. Wow, I had no idea, Daisy said. I hope you get better. Thanks, kiddo, the osprey replied. I hope that you find your parents. 
sadly, Daisy turned her flippers and swam away. Finally, Daisy encountered a slimy otter. Do you know where my parents are? Daisy impatiently asked. Hmm, the otter said. How did you guys get separated? They got stuck in a fishing net, Daisy answered. Well, I think I can help, the otter answered. That's great. Well, sorry, I have to ask. Why are you so slimy? Daisy asked with intrigue. Oh, that is oil. I was just minding my own business swimming when a ship filled with oil spilled. That's terrible, Daisy gasped. Then she continued to follow the mysterious auto. After a brief swim, they found a dock with a boat and a net. Mom! Dad! Daisy shouted. Daisy and the otter had a rescue plan. They swam back and found the one-handed crab who was happy to help and cut the net free. You saved us! Daisy's parents exclaimed. Not without help from my friends. On the way back home, the dolphin saw a seahorse. What are you doing here? Daisy asked. Didn't you hear? The Elizabeth River has become cleaner thanks to those humans. So we moved in. Well, Daisy thought, I guess not all hope is lost. The end. What an awesome, awesome story. And you know what? This story reminds us how important it is for us to keep our environment clean. Make sure we throw away trash. Make sure that we don't throw our trash, trash on the beach or on the ground so that they will not get into our waterways and harm our animals. Now, you heard from me. Let's hear something from our friend, Daisy the Dolphin. Hi, Daisy. Hello. How are you? We are fine. Daisy, do you have anything to say to our friends like that out there? I just want to remind you to keep the ocean clean so that all of my friends and family can stay safe. Okay, thank you very much. Well, we will do our best, okay, Daisy? All right, thank you for that message. Goodbye, Daisy. Goodbye. All right, you heard Daisy. You heard it from her, from Daisy. Now, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I always have to remind you to practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best readers that you can be. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Support comes from Norfolk Collegiate, making your child's educational experience a great one through student-driven initiatives, unique spaces, and daily in-person instruction. More at NorfolkCollegiate.org. It's the school with the hens.